Okay, let's see going. First, we have to get Bo back out. Now, I won't use her on this boss. Why is that? Well, I might because of her invulnerability, but damage is just, just a little bit too low. Until you upgrade her, and I'm not going to go back specifically to upgrade her. See, now we do two per um, jump. So. Oops, I meant to change member. Whoops. Yeah, these ones, they charge. So actually, out of sight. It's the perfect move. See, that right there would be like instant death, because we'd be taking at least six damage. We'd be taking like a good, good like, a lot of damage, so. Uncivilized Goombas living in Gusty Gulch. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. They sometimes charge your back power before attack. That charge attack will take away 8 HP, so watch out when they start to glow. It's a good idea to use bow or an item to become transparent. Then the attack will miss for sure. Crap, so we have to block. Shoot. There's no way we're gonna live. Well, that's why we bought a life shirt, folks. I foresaw this. Nom nom nom. Oops, that was crap. Um, come on, Bo. Yeah, now they're gonna charge again. They will literally charge every other turn. And then attack the other so. These things become pain. That's why I was trying to avoid them. So now I have to use out of sight again. Although the animation, whenever something misses you like this, it's kind of funny, if you ask me. Yes, I know you're charged, but it's too bad. I can kill you in one hit. Bang! Haha! So now we have to be extra careful, meaning no more just silly little mix ups. Repel gel makes Mario transparent and invulnerable for a short time. That can come in handy. I mean, not even kidding, that will come in very much handy. Handy. So I'm trying to say handy. Badges do I have equipped? I don't need a uh, smash charge on right now. But yeah, but there's not much else I can equip, so I'm careful. The, the charge skills are good for um, bosses and stuff with a little bit of defense, but otherwise, I really don't use it that much, unless like rolling. But even then, they, you can still do better damage per turn. It's like for a high defense enemy, though. It's really useful. Super sure. Yay. Killing items. They rock. Ah. Oh. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna have to use a quake. She can usually do like four damage that way. But again, if they have defense, she's kind of bad. Crap. We're having problems. Yay. Okay, it'll be time to heal now. And I'm in peril. We're gonna use a super. 
see for sure. Um, nom nom. Always come prepared, kids. Um, okay, now. Let's finish off this one. I'm bad at some of her things, though. So, I don't know how much I'll use her. At least for a while, I am. I have to get reacquainted with her, basically. Yes. Finally, I can learn something. We're about to level up, so it's all good. Although, it, sometimes I have problems not, like, actually remembering to hide. So, like, I could just hidden from that. Uh, let's see, is there anything over here? Nope. Checking for items in this game is very good. You don't want to waste your precious coins on, like, fire flowers, but it's good to have them around. Okie dokie, time for the castle. Castle's not all that big. Okay, we don't want to get caught by these. So, we can either do the bow method, or the runaway method, like we are doing here. Those things wake up. Do that. Because those things, those guys hurt. I'm telling you that now. Run! But they won't follow you once we're running. That's one good thing. What, they're not gonna let me up there? Okay, I guess not. Of course, we can't use that in the air, so we can't, like, fade through the wall or the ceiling. would be essential on a like low level game because it's very hard to dodge some enemies without bow. Uh, you have to drop down there. Yes! Okay, that, this is a tricky one to sneak by, but you're invulnerable once you go into a door or hit down with bow out, so. That one's a really heavy sleeper, I remember that for a fact. That one's a light sleeper. So be very careful. But if you walk a little bit slow, that works to not wake them up, but I prefer to just kind of go through it. Castle key! Yeah. Okay. And we go back up. Oh, healing spot down there. Oh. Oh, you're Mario. Nice place, huh? As a matter of fact, I came to this castle with my friends to try and find Tuffle Bulb's weak point. We managed to find out that there's something important hidden in Tuffle Bulb's room on the highest floor. But once I got separated from my friends, I just had to hide. But you could go. First, you need to get to the uppermost floor, then keep going until you find his room. If you happen to run into Tuffle Bulb, don't. I mean, I repeat, don't fight with him. He's invincible, really. Until you find out his secret weakness, you better just run away. You got that? You can't, really, I've tried. You cannot deal damage to that guy. He, I think they put his, like, defense at, like, 99. So there isn't much you can do. Aha! A charge spot. Yes. Oh, I'm totally gonna upgrade Paracarry. Yay, super rank. She now has Spook, which startles enemies and scares them away. Which is good in an emergency. This one I have a problem just rushing through that. So you have to hide a little bit. Because if those things catch you, you'll be kicked out of the castle completely and you have to walk all the way back. And that's just a little bit of a pain. Do, 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 do. I get that still. I think it requires a key on the other side. The other wing. Yeah, it does. If 
I love this fast dash thing. I mean, it's really helping out with, like, dodging half of this crap. Because nothing's faster than that. Okay, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we explore the other side. Ha ha ha! Tubba Wubba's going down.